Pakistan have announced their schedule for the rest of the six to seven months prior to the Champions Trophy. Pakistan are the hosts in 2025 and hopefully there will be no glitches. Every single team will travel to Pakistan, including India, who we know that there are bilateral tensions with. Now, Pakistan's schedule is very, very interesting for certain reasons. One, they will be playing close to 30 games in the six to seven month period. I'm including all formats. Now the home schedule and the away schedule, this is what it looks like for Pakistan. In the home schedule, when you look at it from August, it begins and they will be playing two tests versus Bangladesh. That will be from 21st August to 25th August in Rawalpindi and Karachi. So Bangladesh will arrive in Pakistan for two tests. Then England will come in October in uh, for three tests, Multan, Karachi, Rawalpindi. One hopes that these were the same, uh, two out of the venues were the same in which England whitewashed Pakistan. Now in the World Test Championship, they may have a decentish chance, but their 3-0 uh, loss to Australia has probably dented them. In between Pakistan and England, there is also two tests that they will be playing in January. So Bangladesh first, England second, and then Pakistan, and then West Indies for two tests in Karachi and Multan. So a total of seven tests will be played by Pakistan at home. They have already finished two series of their World Test Championship in Sri Lanka and Australia, which is away. They only have one more away series. But then this is one of the most interesting things in the schedule. For the first time in 20 years, Pakistan is going to host a home try series. Pakistan, New Zealand and South Africa. Do you guys remember when was the last time Pakistan had hosted a home try series? You would have to go way back to 2004. And I will explain what is the schedule of that. Now, this is the most important thing. Champions Trophy, the proposed dates are 19th February to 9th March. And scheduled to be announced by the ICC, participating teams are Afghanistan, Australia, Bangladesh, England, India, New Zealand, Pakistan and South Africa. So at this point in time, India has probably said yes, that they will travel to Pakistan. What is the security arrangement, whether all the games will be held in Lahore, that remains to be seen. But February 19th to 9th March, that is the Champions Trophy dates, which is proposed. And most likely the ICC is going to stamp that approval. I was talking about at home tri-series, right? When was the last time Pakistan had hosted a tri-series? 2004, the Pactel Cup, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Zimbabwe. These were the three teams that were there. And because of this, Pakistan and Sri Lanka reached the final where Kumar Sangakara 68 and Sanat Jaisuriya's 5 wickets ensured Sri Lanka had a comfortable victory. That is why now 20 years later, Pakistan, South Africa and New Zealand are going to play in the Tri-Series. Now, what is the away schedule for Pakistan? Now from November, in uh, Pakistan are going to play Australia for 3 ODIs and 3 T20Is. So, they had already finished the test schedule last year. Now, they are going to play, play the ODI and T20Is. Pakistan have had a torrid time even in white ball cricket in Australia. So, that's why this series might give them a chance at redemption. But then for all the trolls who continue to haunt Pakistan cricket, this series is food for thought for them because Pakistan are going to play Zimbabwe. They, were, they are going to play three ODIs and three T20Is in November, December. Immediately after the tour to Australia is done, they will head to Zimbabwe for three ODIs and three T20Is. So, more stat padding, more trolls are going to come after Pakistan cricket. Because this is now, after that, they will have the most toughest part of their entire WTC thing, which is the Test and uh, T20 and ODI series in South Africa. Now, they will play three T20Is. The starting of the tour to South Africa will be three T20Is, then three ODIs, followed by two tests. This time in South Africa, the Boxing Day test and the New Year test is going to be highlighted by Pakistan. That will be the last of the second last of their World Test Championship before they go to go home for the West Indies series. 
So, 9 tests, 13 ODIs, 13 is with an asterisk because if they don't make the final between Pakistan, South Africa and New Zealand, then what? 9 T20Is, home tri-series after 20 plus years. So, these are the key takeaways from Pakistan's schedule. 30 games, it's a lot. But will they peak at the right time? That remains to be seen. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.